Ace Personal Trainer Manual, Chapter 7 Functional Assessments 34 Questions Question 1, Lateral Trunk Flexors A. What muscles are tight if there is shoulder asymmetry to the midline? B. What muscles are tight if there is kyphosis and a depressed chest? C. What muscles are tight if the shoulders are not level? D. What muscles are tight if the shoulders are protracted? Question 1 Answer A. What muscles are tight if there is shoulder asymmetry to the midline? Question 2 Plumb line position from frontal, sagittal and transverse views. A. What is scapular protraction? B. What are possible postural deviations? C. What are the four movement screens? D. What is a static postural assessment? Question 2 Answer D. What is a static postural assessment? Question 3 To examine bilateral mobility of the thoracic spine. A. Purpose of shoulder push stabilization screen. B. Purpose of hurdle step screen. C. Purpose of bend and lift screen. D. Purpose of thoracic spine mobility screen. Question 3 Answer. D. Purpose of thoracic spine mobility screen. Question 4. To assess muscular endurance of the lateral core muscles. Not suitable for clients with shoulder pain or weakness or who suffer from low back pain, have had recent surgery, or in the midst of back pain flare-up. A. Purpose of trunk flexor endurance test. B. Trunk extensor endurance test. C. Purpose of trunk lateral endurance test. D. Purpose of stork stand balance test. Question 4 Answer C. Purpose of trunk lateral endurance test. Question 5 To examine stabilization of the scapula thoracic joint and core control during closed kinetic chain pushing movements. A. Purpose of shoulder push stabilization screen. B. Purpose of thoracic spine mobility screen. C. Purpose of shoulder flexion and extension. D. Purpose of hurdle step screen. Question 5 Answer. A. Purpose of shoulder push stabilization screen. Question 6. Aces tilts downward and forward. Tight hip flexors and erector spine. Lengthened hamstrings and rectus abdominis. A. What are possible postural deviations? B. What are the three balance and core screens? C. What are characteristics associated with an anterior pelvic tilt? D. What characteristics are associated with a posterior tilt? Question 6 Answer. C. What are characteristics associated with an anterior pelvic tilt? Question 7. To assess the length of the muscles involved in hip flexion. Do not conduct on clients suffering from low back pain, unless cleared by their physician. A. Purpose of Sharp and Romberg Test. B. Purpose of Bend and Lift Screen. C. Purpose of Hurdle Step Screen. D. Purpose of Thomas Test. Question 7 Answer. D. Purpose of Thomas Test. Question 8. Repetitive Movements. Awkward Positions and Movements. Habitually Poor Posture. Psi Dominance. Lack of Joint Stability. Lack of joint mobility. Imbalanced strength training programs. A. What are possible postural deviations? B. What muscles are tight if the humerus is medially rotated? C. What are correctable factors that contribute to muscle imbalance and postural deviations? D. What are characteristics associated with an anterior pelvic tilt? Question 8 Answer. C. What are correctable factors that contribute to muscle imbalance and postural deviations? Dot. Question 9. Pectoralis major. Latissimus dorsi. Subscapularis. A. What muscles are tight if the shoulders are protracted? B. What muscles are tight if the shoulders are not level? C. What muscles are tight if the humerus is medially rotated? D. What muscles are tight in a forward head position?
Question 9 Answer C. What muscles are tight if their humerus is medially rotated? Question 10 To examine symmetrical lower extremity mobility and stability, and upper extremity during stability during a bend and lift movement. A. Purpose of bend and lift screen. B. Purpose of hurdle step screen. C. Purpose of Sharp and Romberg test. D. Purpose of Thomas test. Question 10 Answer A. Purpose of bend and lift screen. Question 11 High arches, foot inversion, knee external rotation, and femoral external rotation. A. What are the four movement screens? B. What kind of movement does pronation cause? C. What are possible postural deviations? D. What kind of movement does supination cause? Question 11 Answer D. What kind of movement does supination cause? Question 12 Arch flattening, foot aversion, knee internal rotation, femoral internal rotation. A. What kind of movement does supination cause? B. What are non correctable factors? C. What are the four movement screens? D. What kind of movement does pronation cause? Question 12 Answer D. What kind of movement does pronation cause? Question 13 1. Thomas test for hip flexion, quadriceps length. 2. Passive straight leg raise, PSL, for hamstring length. 3. Shoulder mobility, flexion and extension. Internal and external rotation of the humerus at the shoulder. A please scratch test for S, T and G, H mobility. A. What are the three flexibility and muscle length screens? B. Purpose of bend and lift screen. C. What are the four movement screens? D. What are the three balance and core screens? Question 13 Answer A. What are the three flexibility and muscle length screens? Question 14. Noticeable protrusion of the medial border outward. A. What is wing scapulae? B. What is scapular protraction? C. What is a static postural assessment? D. What are the four movement screens? Question 14 Answer B. What is scapular protraction? Question 15 1. Sharp and Romberg test. 2. Stork stand balance test. 3. McGill's dorsal muscular endurance test battery. Trunk flexor endurance test. Trunk lateral endurance test. Trunk extensor endurance test. A. What are the four movement screens? B. Purpose of bend and lift screen. C. What are the three balance and core screens? D. What are the three flexibility and muscle length screens? Question 15 Answer C. What are the three balance and core screens? Question 16 To assess the length of the hamstrings. A. Purpose of Stork Stand Balance Test. B. Purpose of Sharp and Romberg Test. C. Purpose of Passive Straight Leg Test. D. Purpose of Thomas Test. Question 16 Answer C. Purpose of Passive Straight Leg Test. Question 17 To assess the degree of shoulder flexion and extension. A. Purpose of Trunk Flexor Endurance Test. B. Purpose of Hurdle Step Screen. C. Purpose of Shoulder Flexion and Extension. D. Purpose of Shoulder Push Stabilization Screen. Question 17 Answer C. Purpose of Shoulder Flexion and Extension. Question 18 Congenital Conditions. Some Pathologies. Structural Deviations. Certain Types of Trauma. A. What are the four movement screens? B. What are possible postural deviations? C. What are non correctable factors? D. What is wing scapulae? Question 18 Answer C. What are non correctable factors? Question 19 Cervical spine extensors. Upper trapezius. Levator scapulae. A. 
What muscles are tight if the humerus is medially rotated? B. What muscles are tight in a forward head position? C. What muscles are tight if the shoulders are protracted? D. What muscles are tight if the shoulders are not level? Question 19 Answer B. What muscles are tight in a forward head position? Question 20 To examine simultaneous mobility of one limb and stability of the contralateral limb while maintaining both hip and torso stabilization during a balance challenge of standing on one leg. A. Purpose of Thomas Test B. Purpose of Sharp and Romberg Test C. Purpose of Bend and Lift Screen D. Purpose of Hurdle Step Screen Question 20 Answer D. Purpose of Hurdle Step Screen Question 21 To assess static balance by standing on one foot in a modified stork stand position A. Purpose of Sharp and Romberg Test B. Purpose of Trunk Flexor Endurance Test C. Purpose of Stork Stand Balance Test D. Purpose of Trunk Lateral Endurance Test Question 21 Answer C. Purpose of Stork Stand Balance Test Question 22 To assess the internal, medial, and external, lateral, rotation of the humerus at the shoulder joint A. Purpose of Stork Stand Balance Test B. Purpose of Bend and Lift Screen C. Purpose of internal and external rotation of the humerus at the shoulder? D. Purpose of trunk lateral endurance test? Question 22 Answer C. Purpose of internal and external rotation of the humerus at the shoulder? Question 23 Glute dominance versus lumbar or quadricep dominance? A. What are the four movement screens? B. What is scapular protraction? C. What is the preferred method of squatting? D. What are the three balance and core screens? Question 23 Answer C. What is the preferred method of squatting? Question 24 1. Bend and lift 2. Hurdle step 3. Should push stabilization, push-ups 4. Thoracic spine mobility, sitting, dowel across chest, trunk rotation A. What are the four movement screens? B. Purpose of bend and lift screen? C. What are the three balance and core screens? D. Purpose of hurdle step screen? Question 24 Answer A. What are the four movement screens? Question 25 To assess simultaneous movements of the shoulder girdle, S slash T and G, H joints. A. Purpose of Stork Stand Balance Test B. Purpose of Trunk Flexor Endurance Test C. Purpose of Thomas Test D. Purpose of a Please Scratch Test Question 25 Answer D. Purpose of a Please Scratch Test Question 26 To assess muscular endurance of the torso extensor muscles Not suitable for a client with major strength deficiencies high body mass, or sufferers of low back pain or recent surgery, at dot C. A. Purpose of Trunk Lateral Endurance Test B. Trunk Extensor Endurance Test C. Purpose of Thomas Test D. Purpose of Trunk Flexor Endurance Test Question 26 Answer B. Trunk Extensor Endurance Test Question 27 Serratus anterior Anterior scapula humeral muscles Upper trapezius A. What muscles are tight in a forward head position? B. What muscles are tight if the shoulders are protracted? C. What muscles are tight if the humerus is medially rotated? D. What muscles are tight if the shoulders are not level? Question 27 Answer B. What muscles are tight if the shoulders are protracted? Question 28. 1. Ankle pronation, supination. 2. Hip addiction. 3. Pelvic tilting. 4. Shoulder position and thoracic spine. 5. Head position. A. What are possible postural deviations? 
B. What is a static postural assessment? C. What is scapular protraction? D. What are non-correctable factors? Question 28 Answer A. What are possible postural deviations? Question 29 To assess static balance by standing with a reduced base base toss support while removing visual sensory information. A. Purpose of Thomas test. B. Purpose of hurdle step screen. C. Purpose of Sharp and Romberg test. D. Purpose of Stork stand balance test. Question 29 Answer C. Purpose of Sharp and Romberg test. Question 30 To test muscular endurance of the deep core muscles. Not suitable for clients with low back pain, recent back surgery, back pain flare up. A. Purpose of Stork stand balance test. B. Purpose of trunk lateral endurance test. C. Purpose of trunk flexor endurance test. D. Trunk extensor endurance test. Question 30 Answer C. Purpose of trunk flexor endurance test. Question 31 Aces tilts upward and backward. Tight rectus abdominis and hamstrings. Lengthened hip flexors and erector spiny. A. What are characteristics associated with an anterior pelvic tilt? B. What are possible postural deviations? C. What characteristics are associated with a posterior tilt? D. What muscles are tight in a forward head position? Question 31 Answer C. What characteristics are associated with a posterior tilt? Question 32 Upper trapezius Levator scapulae Rhomboids A. What muscles are tight if the humerus is medially rotated? B. What muscles are tight in a forward head position? C. What muscles are tight if the shoulders are protracted? D. What muscles are tight if the shoulders are not level? Question 32 Answer D. What muscles are tight if the shoulders are not level? Question 33 Noticeable protrusion of the inferior angle and the medial border. A. What is scapular protraction? B. What are non-correctable factors? C. What is winged scapulae? D. What are the four movement screens? Question 33 Answer C. What is winged scapulae? Question 34 Shoulder adductors Pectoralis major Rectus abdominis Internal oblique A. What muscles are tight if the humerus is medially rotated? B. What muscles are tight if there is kyphosis and a depressed chest? C. What muscles are tight if the shoulders are protracted? D. What muscles are tight if the shoulders are not level? Question 34 Answer B. What muscles are tight if there is kyphosis and a depressed chest?